Hello everybody and welcome to Crumbs and Doilies in Soho. We are open and I am so excited. We've been open for a couple of weeks now and we love seeing you guys here. The guys are having so much fun baking for you, making all your coffees and delicious treats. So I have a really amazing treat for you in store today. We're gonna to show you how to make the cookie dough brownie, which we've not shown you before. It is a Crumbs and Doilies classic. So let's head on upstairs and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so the cookie dough brownie is exactly what it says on the tin. It is our famous crumbs and doilies, moist, indulgent, fudgy chocolate brownie topped off with a massive chunk of cookie dough. Edible cookie dough, completely safe to eat, don't you worry. We're gonna put some ganache on top of it and it's absolutely incredible. And the best thing about this is that crumbs and doilies have released that as our latest kit. This is the cookie dough brownie bake at home kit. So in here is everything you need other than a little bit of butter and a cup couple of eggs and you could be making this at home. So if you want to get yourself one of these, head on over to crumbsanddoilies.co.uk or cupcakedemo.com. I'll put some links down below and you can get yourself one to bake at home. But if not, don't worry, I'm going to talk you through the recipe from start to finish. So let's get going with our brownie. So the first thing we need to do is melt together 110 grams of both dark chocolate and some butter. So it doesn't matter if it's soft or not because we're going to melt them. So I'm going to do this in the microwave about 30 seconds at a time, just keep on stirring it and melting it until it is one smooth liquid. Mm. And if you just can't wait, then just grab a straw and slurp it all up. <laughs> I'm kidding, don't do that, we've got to make our brownie. Right, so that's going to stay to one side, just cooling off a little bit. We don't need to wait till it's completely cold or anything, but we just want to take the kind of heat off it. So into another large bowl, we're going to add 220 grams of caster sugar, and then we're going to put straight into that two eggs. Now, if you want to use your stand mixer, then go ahead and get your balloon whisk attachment, or you can just do this with a regular old whisk, or you can do what I'm doing with an electric whisk. We're going to whip this up for about two to three minutes until it goes really fluffy and white, and you will see quite a dramatic change. So keep on whipping until you get what I'm going to show you. And there we go. It really is pale and fluffy. Can you see in there? It looks delicious. So next, we're going to add in our melted chocolate and butter mixture. And I'm just going to mix this together with the spoon. And once they have fully combined, we're gonna add some dry ingredients. So grab yourself a sieve, and we're gonna put into there 80 grams of plain flour, and 30 grams of cocoa powder, and then we've got half a teaspoon each of salt, and some baking powder. So pop those through, and then we'll give it a good stir together. And that is our brownie batter made. Look how delicious it looks, but I promise it'll be even more delicious once it has baked. So now it is time to get it into the tin. If you're lucky enough to have the kit, you can add a tin onto your order so you'll get an eight by eight inch tin. If not, then grab your regular eight inch by eight inch tin and put all of your batter in and then smooth it out. Now it is time to bake. So preheat your oven to 170 degrees C, which is fan assisted, and we're gonna put this in for whatever you like. <laughs> so 20 to 25 minutes, if you like it a bit gooey, you wanna go a little bit less. If you like it a little bit cakey, take it a bit further. I like to do it so when you put a skewer into it, there's a little bit of brownie batter on it because I think a gooey brownie is how you should eat brownie. So once it's come out of the oven, you want to let it cool down completely and then we'll get on with making our cookie dough. Mm -hmm. 
Our brownie has baked and cooled and it's got that classic crispy topping and inside is gonna be fudgy and delicious. So now it is cookie dough time. So you can't really make cookie dough that you would turn into baked cookies and eat it because there's a few things in there that you probably don't wanna eat. One of those being eggs, raw eggs, Mm, let's stay away from them. So we're not gonna have any eggs in here. And also raw flour can also carry some bacteria in it. So what you wanna do first is put 100 grams of plain flour onto a baking tray and just pop it in the oven for five minutes and that is just gonna cook off and kill those nasty bacteria, and it's gonna make this cookie dough safe to eat. So now we're gonna put that very carefully into a bowl and try not to tip it everywhere. This may take some time. Just bear with me, <laughs> otherwise I'll make a mess. Hang on. I did it! Yes! Okay, next up we've got sugar. So we've got 95 grams of caster sugar, or just granulated sugar, like white sugar is fine, and then 45 grams of demerara sugar. Now, if you can't find it, don't worry. It's just this adds a little bit of crunch to your cookie dough, and it's really delicious. I would highly recommend doing it if you can go out and buy it. So we've got 45 grams of that going in, and then half a teaspoon of salt, which is pretty important in cookie dough, I think. And then we've got some butter, so 120 grams of butter. You wanna make sure that this time it is completely soft because we need to be able to stir this together by hand so you can see in here how soft it is. If you need to soften it a bit, you can just pop it in the microwave for a few seconds at a time. And next up, we're gonna go with vanilla. So about half a teaspoon, a little splash of vanilla going in there. Remember, you can get this from cupcakegemma.com. It is so, so good. It is crumbs and doilies. Vanilla, <laughs> it's amazing. Um, and next up, we've got some buttermilk, or you can use yogurt or sour cream, something with a little bit of tang in it. So we've got two tablespoons of that going into our batter here. And now we're just gonna stir this together. It might feel like it's taking a bit of time to get there and all come together as one, but it will, so just be patient. And lastly, we need to add some chocolate chips, obviously. So I've got 50 grams of dark chocolate chips here, which I've chopped up a little bit further just to kind of spread them through a little bit more so we get more of them. We're gonna put those in now. We didn't put those in at the beginning because sometimes if you're mixing a lot, the chocolate will melt and then you'll end up with like a chocolate cookie dough, which thinking about it now sounds quite nice, but whatever, we're doing chocolate chip this time. So stir these through as well just so it's nice and even. And that is done. So now it is time to put it on top of our brownie. It's very soft, so you can spread this very easily. So just dollop it all on. And lastly, it is time to put our chocolate topping on top. Now, I like to do ganache because I think it tastes the nicest, but if you just wanna go with melted chocolate, then go ahead. But ganache, you want 100 grams of double cream and 100 grams of dark chocolate. I like to use a 54% chocolate for this, um, just because it's a little bit less bitter than a really dark one. And I'm gonna do mine in the microwave again, so 30 second blast at a time until it's lovely and smooth. And all that's left to do is pour this over our cookie dough and spread it out. Now, unfortunately, we do need to let this set. So we need to let the chocolate set and we need to let the cookie dough firm up. So we're gonna put this in the fridge for about half an hour. And this does also help the brownie go even fudgier. So do put it in the fridge and don't worry about putting a brownie in the fridge. It's the right thing to do. So I'll see you in about half an hour and we can eat this. Mm-hmm. Sorry, half an hour.
There's not an awful lot to say. I think we should just cut to the chase and chop up this cookie dough brownie. Which bit should I have, this bit or this bit? This bit, okay. <laughs> I'm not really, let me just cut off a little bit here. Oh yes, and let's have a look inside. Look at that. There's just as much cookie dough as there is brownie, which is the perfect way to do this. Ready? Mmm, 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 mmm. I love cookie dough. When we were in New York, we went to Dough, which is a little bakery that just makes loads of different flavors of cookie dough. And it is so cool and I love it so much. It's kind of salty and sweet and crunchy. It goes perfectly with the really intense fuddy brownie at the bottom. And of course, ganache, just ganache. I don't need to talk too much about that. It's delicious. So finally, you have got the crumbs and doilies recipe for cookie dough brownie. You are very welcome. <laughs> and if you wanna make this, but you think it's an awful lot of stuff in here, then head over to cupcakegemma.com or crumbsanddoilies.co.uk and you can get yourself the kit. As you can see, we have absolutely everything you need, all labeled so you know which is going where. We've even got the little bottle of vanilla extract as well and the instructions. And if you wanna get the tin, you can add the tin onto the order as well. We've got loads of awesome stuff over there as well. We've got some round tins. We've got all the palette knives. We've got some spray for spraying your tins. We've got vanilla, we've got cups, we've got teaspoons. We've got everything over there to make sure that you are baking top-notch bakes every single time. So we'll be back next week um, Gemma is hopefully coming to see us soon, so hopefully she can come and be in a video with us. And Dane, of course, me and him will be making that croque en bouche. I swear, I swear, I swear. <laughs> so do stay tuned and we'll be back very soon. In the meantime, enjoy this and please come to Soho as well. I'll make sure that this is in the store next week. So if you want to do it, try it, but you don't want to make it, come and see us in Soho and you can buy yourself a slice. Mm. Mm. It's really bad. <laughs>